Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can make it yours on the watchbox.com. Today we're discussing the discontinued 2014 to 2018 FP Journe Line Sport Sontograph Sport in titanium. 42 millimeters in titanium. The watch wears like a dream. Feather light on the wrist with factory line sport natural vulcanized rubber strap. This watch is both striking to see and striking to wear. A timepiece that is almost like a second skin, nice and slim, only 11.3 millimeters thick with a domed bezel. Even though it's a sports watch, it does slide easily under a dress cuff. Lug to lug, case end to case end. You'll find it measures 49 millimeters, but most of that is just the stub of the end of the case. The case itself is considerably narrower, and I would recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. It is very light, very comfortable, ergonomically superb. Uh, pull it off the wrist and you can see that the strap itself features an FP Journe factory titanium double deploying clasp. And the clasp is a handsome piece. As you can see, spring-loaded pin snaps internally. We'll get a little bit closer to show that in detail. Spring-loaded pin snaps keep this one closed securely when shut. Rubberized on the bottom to prevent the metal from marring whatever may, it may touch and also to prevent it in turn from being marred. The exterior of the titanium double folding clasp is rubber coated. A nice matte finish and you can see this is a cuttable strap. Both sides cuttable. You will be able to get the perfect size with many scored marks for easy started uh, cutting as you can see. It's already pre-cut. And jumping back to the case, you can see that it has a little bit of a definition where it abuts the lugs, the Line Sport logo on both sides, and the case simple but strong. A relatively narrow case band gives the watch almost a little bit of a vintage look in profile as the narrow case band is a sig signature of older watches as well as the Okta and Souverain series. You'll also note that there are rubber bumpers on both sides of the case to further shield the darkened titanium. You'll note the titanium is entirely of a matte finish so it's not a satin brush, it's not polished, it's a blasted type of finish. So muted, discreet, handsome, and quietly powerful. It has a quiet majesty about it. It's not a heavy metal block, but at the same time, it does have a gravitas. And not just because it's an FP Journe timepiece, though that helps. On the dial side, you can see a anthracite colored matte finish outer register with railroad style minutes. You can see big blocks of Luminova for the individual numerals outboard. There is a bezel inboard with the signature FP Journe dial side bolts. And you can see those dial side bolts are all black polished. The hands at center are loomed and you have several partially transparent sapphires that cap the individual chronograph registers. So you lose the tachymeter scales from the standard sontograph. Instead you have these lovely sapphires that allow you to glance into the heart of the mechanism, which I find more interesting. Flying seconds, you have a foudroyant with a 1 100th of a second precision, you have a 20 second register, and then you have a 10 minute register, and that's all she wrote. Although the watch has the functionality of a double pusher, it has a mono pusher setup that rocker system is a patented device that allows you to easily actuate the chronograph, but unlike a conventional mono pusher, you can restart from wherever you leave off. And of course, you can reset the entire system if you wish. That's one of two patents applied to this watch. You have a crown with the characteristic outer knurling and double dimple, a signature of FP Journe, a dial that is always animated. You can run the chronograph continuously, but the power reserve will be only 24 hours. The manual wind caliber 1506, 15 French lean, work started in 2006. That's the FP Journe naming convention. Can we get a little bit closer? We can. The movement is made of aluminum, bridges and plates, both aluminum and PVD darkened. You can see circular Cote de Genève as well as a radial grain across the a crown wheel. You'll also appreciate the fact that every screw is black polished. Technical details, plenty. Note that the barrel occupies the center of the movement. Manual wind with an 80 hour power reserve if you don't run the chronograph full time, 24 hours if you let it rip. The movement also features a big slow beating balance with a huge moment of inertia. 21,600 vibrations per hour, 50 joules, 30 meters water resistant. The chronograph system actually runs part of the 
time telling function off the barrel. You can see the geared edge of the barrel and part of the chronograph system off of the arbor. By driving off both the barrel and the arbor, FP Journe is able to avoid the typical loss of amplitude and timing error that occurs in a conventional chronograph when the power demands are increased to run the complication. It's a very clever system. It's one of the reasons this watch, or at least in its original Santograph Souverain form, was a GPHG Laureate back in 2007. A timepiece that puts it all together, beautifully finished, smartly designed, ergonomically superb from one of the great independent watch brands and watch makers of our time. This is the FP Journe Line Sport Santograph Sport, 42 millimeters in titanium, now discontinued. See it on the watch box. FP Journe Santograph Sport Line Sport, solid block Luminova numerals, fully loomed biomorphic Journe hands.